I'm here. I'm in fear. My best friend isn't here. And we're doing a double feature. I tried. Okay, I tried. <laughs> we're doing a double feature. And I'm alone. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Kaz here, and it's Freaky Friday, and I promised you guys a double feature. Unfortunately, Sarah cannot be here for this reaction. We were planning on her being in this video, but my household is kind of sick right now. We're just playing it safe right now. But today, we are doing a double feature of Nuke's Top 5. The first one we're going to be doing is 5 scary videos of ghosts, creatures, and creeps. Great! <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not excited to do this alone. It's for some reason real eerie in this room by myself with these lights on. I'm gonna have to dim the lights, be by myself. I do have my blanket of comfort, so don't you worry. So go get your blanket of comfort. I do have my coffee here. Go get your coffee, maybe a snack if you'd like, because it is a double feature. And to top it all off, there's a windstorm going on outside. So every now and then I'm hearing outside my window. So if you hear that, it's not a ghost. Don't tell me it's a ghost. It's wind. Before this video starts, make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe and join the family. And also make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I post. Also make sure to follow all my social media. Go do it right now. Especially Instagram. I've been posting some more stuff on there. Especially my Insta stories. I do have all my social media links though. I have like 10 different social medias that you can follow in the description below. It's like all the way on the bottom. So if you want to follow me, make sure to do that. Did you hear that? That shook my house. And the shout out of the day goes to... And since we're doing a double feature, let's do double the shout outs, shall we? The first shout out goes out to Tony Gunk. He says, LMFAO, the cow almost made y'all piss yourselves. And baby girl got you guys too. Such a great video. Yes, that cow in the last nukes video that we reacted to by far is probably the scaredest we got just because it was the most unexpected. It was like, what? And then Harmony of course had to scare us in the middle of it. <laughs> and the second shout out of the day goes to Steven S. He says, watching you two when the cow come out, comes out was so funny. Love your reactions. Thank you so much, Tony and Steven, for commenting, liking, subscribing, all that fun YouTube stuff. I really do appreciate it. It really does make my day. And again, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Helps me a lot. Let's get on to the scaring. But first, let's set the mood. I hate that so much more when I'm alone. <laughs> okay. All right, people. It's windy outside. It's dark in here. And yeah, okay. Oh, brother. Top five ah. scary things caught on camera. Sounds of unknown origin. Mm -hmm. Polish YouTuber Leviathan says that he's recently been hearing the horrifying wails and screeches of some unknown creature coming from deep within the woods near his house. And then, one night, the unexplained screeches can be heard coming from somewhere a lot closer. The barn, <laughs> just 100 feet from his house. No. Leviathan and his friend no, head no, out no. to investigate. At least he has a friend. I'm just gonna say, at least he has a friend. But look at that. That's 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 a that's a nightmare. That's literally a horror movie. Why? 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 Just ignore it. Just stay in your house. Recording as they go, getting closer and closer to the bar. No. It did not go well. No. 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 Ooh, 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 I hate it. 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 It's a dog. Right? Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog barking. What's that? Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. God, he scared me. Ah, ah. 
Stop, 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 stop. I swear. I swear. If you jump scare me. Stop. Oh my god. Absolutely not. A loud bang can be heard as something falls hard to the floor. When Leviathan looks up, the terrifying face of a pale creature with glowing eyes can be seen looking. It's Gollum! Why is Gollum in his barn? <laughs> right back That's gross. at him. That's gross. The two friends run from the barn in terror. To this day, YouTuber Leviathan says he has no idea just what he captured on camera. Oh my god. Ghosts caught on CCTV. Great. This next video was sent to me directly by Nukes Top 5 viewer Kelly Scoggins. The video comes from two guards at a gated community near Austin, Texas. The guards say that late one night while on patrol, they were cruising down a neighborhood street when they suddenly saw two small children right in front of their car. They swerved to miss them and they actually crashed right into a house. But here's the thing, no children. there were no children in the road. The entire incident was captured on CCTV. Take a look. Whoa. Ew, they're like floating! Two strange anomalies appear out of thin air, oh. stepping right into the road. Oh. And then they disappear just as quickly. The two that. security guards claimed that they could see two children and that in a panic, they lost control of their patrol vehicle. What makes this footage even stranger is that later, the guards found out that two children had met a tragic fate Aww. in a car accident right on this very same spot. God. So could it be that they witnessed the restless spirits of two children who lost their lives? Probably. As always, I leave it up to you to that decide. That is so scary. In another video caught on CCTV, police set up a bait car. For those who don't know, a bait car is basically a car with a GPS tracker and a hidden camera set up by the police to catch potential car thieves. Okay. The doors of the car are unlocked, the keys are left in the ignition, and then the police just wait for someone to come along how, and try to steal the car. Like how stupid can you be? Like, really? Like... You're a car thief, you know. It's not gonna happen to where doors are unlocked, the keys are still in there, like. This clip was broadcast on US TV. Oh, oh, I did. You got <laughs> Yo, my lights are not on. Oh, How the you open the trunk? What the is in the back? It doesn't turn it up. Without knowing, the two young thieves are filmed and tracked by police officers oh and are soon arrested. Well, well. However, when the footage was uploaded to YouTube, shocked viewers were quick to point out that the two young men might not have been the only ones inside that vehicle. Oh, oh that's not cop. Oh, I thought I thought. Oh, sh**. What? 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 Oh, sh**. I think it is a cop. I heard that. My boots are the Oh my god! Who was that? It's a Viewers believe the pale figure of a woman can be seen sitting oh! in the back seat. Now, no. it should be noted that the two teenagers no, no, were no, alone no, 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 and the footage no, no, is 100% no, 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 no. real police evidence. Ew. Making a ghost in this scenario would be impossible. Gross. So just what is this? It's gross. You decide. Ew. Something in the building. You know, Korean ghost hunt no. live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Dosha no. Michael is back with another exploration of a creepy no. abandoned place. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for this. 
this. Well, I guess there's no time like the present, right? Okay, let's do it. I could do this. This time the ghost hunter explores several buildings of a long abandoned village. Now Michael doesn't share why the village has been left empty and abandoned, but one can only imagine all the life and death that have left a, a mark on the decaying buildings. Michael is broadcasting on a live stream to his fans as uh, he ventures inside the building he will be exploring. No, 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 no. As his viewers watch live, things quickly become truly bizarre. Hate it or oh my god, I hate that. Kiss me, girl. Oh, 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 gross. Oh, 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 Whoa. Oh my god! What? 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 Ew. <gasps> okay, that sounded. I don't know if that was the doors opening, but that sounded like like uh 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 you know like uh pets claws on like wood or cement. That's what that sounded like to me, and I did not like that. I don't like this door right here. It hasn't opened quite yet, so it's just like dark. It looks like somebody's just like gonna look through it. Oh my god! Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Got this. Oh, bro. Not good. That's all the doors open. Doors on both sides of the creepy hallway swing open and shut. Michael's a bit freaked out. But he carefully continues on to investigate. Gross, gross, gross! I hate that! I swear to God, something pops his head out! Ah! Oh my God. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, look at the interference. You hear the, the audio? Should I be here? Yeah, you think? When Michael finds himself a bit confined in a small cramped room, he decides he has just had enough of the yeah, creepy yeah. doors and makes a run for it. After gathering his courage, the ghost hunter decides to explore the main building no. of the abandoned village. Don't do it. Whatever present seems to be haunting the small town, it seems it is not done with Michael uh. just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my god! Oh my god. Huh? What's here? Footsteps. Yeah. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Stop the second floor. I swear, I'm gonna see something. What? What's that? Oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Did I just see something? Oh! Mo! Oh, no! Oh my god! Whoa! Stop! No. Uh, 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 excuse me. He just saw two like cloaked, almost look like figures walking around the second story, and he's like, "I'm gonna go up there." <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Why? God, I got two of these to do. Damn. I think he says he has the police on the way too. She's got that to worry about too. That is a long hallway and I hate that so much. I have this thing about hallways. Mm -mm. Ooh, I hate it. There's all this black stuff around. Look, like, there's all this black stuff. I hate it. I'm gonna see something at the end of this hallway and I'm gonna flip out. Oh god. That's something in the door. I don't know. Oh! Kogi. My god! Oh! 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 <sighs> that's a demon. That's, that's a straight up demon. I don't care. Who or what? That was terrifying. Oh my, oh my. This sucks. Oh. God, get out of there. After hearing strange footsteps coming from the second floor, it Michael quickly runs outside and looks up at the windows of the second floor balcony. He is shocked when he sees two dark shadow-like apparitions that seem to be walking on the second floor. Gathering his courage, Michael goes up to the second floor nope. to investigate. Nope. But he is quickly scared away when one oh of the apparitions God. makes a terrifying appearance at the door at the end of the hallway. Now, usually the ghost hunter will charge forward towards the apparition, trying to record any paranormal activity that he can capture. But this time, Michael himself is suspicious of what he's witnessing. Michael seems to believe that maybe he isn't entirely alone at the creepy abandoned village. Yeah. He believes that some real person or it people could, I guess it might could be, be people. messing with him. Yeah. It could Scared be. that he might be dealing with a real group of people up to no good. That thing's His huge. live chat audience actually calls the police. And Michael, understandably, just decides to get out of there. I don't know if a person could be that so big. So what do you think Michael called on camera? Is it something paranormal? It looks like a demon. Could it have been real people up to no good just messing with him? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Uh, you decide. Uninvited. Great! This next TikTok video Great. might not be something related to the paranormal, but it is certainly something absolutely terrifying. Great! Hannah Viveret is recording a TikTok video of her dancing in her living room. I've seen this. I literally just saw this I, yesterday on TikTok. When the unthinkable happens. Oh, fuck! Real! Real! Back off. Off. Who are you? Who are you? Please get off. Please get out. No, please get out. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Who are you? Please get out of my apartment right now. Please get out of my apartment right now. Get out. Get out. Oh my god. Hello? That's so scary. A strange man tries to break in through Hannah's balcony door and she makes a run for it. Now before you think this might be a TikTok hoax, I can assure you that this video is 100% real. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
real. Yeah, she's the man who entered old. Hannah's apartment was 36-year-old yep. Angel Rodriguez Gomez. Shortly really after the high. events in this video, he was arrested and charged with burglary, assault, stalking, and destruction of property. Multiple news outlets picked up this chilling story and That's Hannah shows so in an interview scary. how the man climbed two stories to reach her apartment balcony. Yep. It turns out that this seemingly disturbed man was actually one of Hannah's neighbors, and he had apparently been watching her closely for a while. Gross. All things considered, the situation could have possibly ended much worse yep. if Hannah had not headed for her front door immediately. She is now looking to move from her apartment as she rightfully says that she no so. longer feels safe there. Well, yeah. So, how would you handle this terrifying situation? Would you run? Would you scream? Or just what would you do? The Faceless Man. No, no. Paranormal YouTuber no. Shamos and his friend Jota go to investigate oh, the local urban legend of the quote, Faceless Man in a small town in the Brazilian countryside. Their investigation takes them to a factory that has been abandoned for over 10 years. Before the factory was closed, workers often claimed that they would see the terrifying apparition of a man with a horribly disfigured face uh. wandering throughout the factory. Whenever they would pursue him, he seemed to just disappear into thin air. Great. Cut to a few years later. A terrible unexplained fire occurs at the factory claiming the lives of many workers. After this, the alleged paranormal activity seems to intensify. The hardworking employees would hear unexplained noises and terrifying screams. It is said that after many complaints from terrified factory workers who refused to enter the building, that the work site was moved to a completely different location. Today, what was once a large thriving factory is now nothing more than rubble and ruins. When YouTuber Shamos and team member Jota begin their investigation of the abandoned property, they immediately begin to feel like they are being watched. You probably are, that's why. By something with no face, apparently. Wait, 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 the two investigators are completely unaware that a creepy pale face seems to be watching them from one yeah. of the windows. When Shamos pans his camera faceless. back to the same window, the face is gone. Having no idea what they just captured, the face is gone. Gross. Having no idea what they just captured, they continue on to explore more of the abandoned property. And things only get creepier. Great. Great. Awesome. É um monte de banheiro aí, cara. Ô, uh. Jota, dá uma pegada ali, Jota. Ó, oh, uh. barulho aqui dentro. Barulho, barulho, barulho aqui, barulho aqui. Barulho no telhado, hein. No telhado, no telhado, entra aqui. Dá uma olhada, dá uma olhada aí. Tem alguém aí? Cara, uh. não, não tem ninguém aqui, cara. Aqui, aqui, ó. Vamos entrar, vem, 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 vem junto. Oh, oh. Olha só, aqui em cima o teto aqui, Jota. Que, que que é isso aí, cara? Que barulho que é isso aí, cara? Oh my god, I saw it, 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 I saw it. Eu vi alguma coisa ali no buraco, velho. Ali, eu vi alguma coisa ali no buraco. Aonde chamas? Onde tu viu, cara? Cara, o que, que tu viu, cara? I saw it. Uma cabeça, cara. Uma cabeça, cara. Uma cabeça, cara. Cara, 
Vamos dar uma olhada lá, cara. Não pode, cara? Jota, eu juro pra juro. E, cara, eu juro pra minha vida, cara. Tem alguma coisa ali, cara. Ali, cara, ali, cara. The bizarre face appears yep. again. And this time the two investigators see it with their own eyes. A cloak and a mask. When Shamos and Jota check the room, there's no one there. I don't know about that. Understandably, they are a bit freaked out. They prepare for the worst as they make their way through the ruins of the factory. They look for any signs that someone or something might be there with them. It did not go well. No, no. Oh God! Oh, 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 a strange face peers out at them from around a corner. Gross. The two explorers are the way terrified. It it. They decide to make a run for it. All of the creepy faces they've captured throughout the night seem to have no visible features. Gross. It seems as if they might have actually encountered the local legend huh. of the quote, faceless, faceless man. man. Oh, so he's a face with no face. So, what do you think? Did the two friends capture evidence of an extreme haunting? It's creepy. <sighs> well... That was terrifying before we uh, start our next one. Intermission. Well, I hope you guys grabbed a drink, grabbed a snack, something. If you didn't have a blanket before, hope you have one now. Cause we are on to the next video. Um, the first one was Terrifying. This one is another nukes video and it's entitled Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Creep You Out. Great. I'm already scared. So, and I'm already creeped out. Great. All right. Well, here we go. Hope you guys are enjoying the double feature. If you are, make sure to hit that like button and also please consider subscribing. It does help me out. Here we go. Things uh, no, no, no. No, Opening no, no. a doorway. Oh no. Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claim that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. The agent says that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013. Shut up. Leaving behind all of their personal belongings in the house. The current owner is desperate to sell. He believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with I it. I hate it. He absolutely refuses to go inside the home huh. or even get close to it. I have chills through my entire body. I'm actually, I'm genuinely really scared of this one. And all of these strange stories about the haunted house have kept buyers away as well. Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. But he doesn't explain why. <laughs> なんかそういうルールがあると思ったんだけど。ああ、はいはいはい。開けて取ったら本当は必ず閉める。いうことは絶対守ってくれっていうことだったので。終わった。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。これで今ここから開けて入ったと
あでもそこもそうかそこもうん全部そうか Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. They don't think much of it and just continue their investigation. But did you see it? No! Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. But watch again. Oh, God. <gasps> there's a full, there's a, that's a person. There's a full blown person in the house right now. Just chilling in the clothes. What the f- Oh god. Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes as two bare feet can be seen underneath. But the investigators just don't notice. Soon the two explorers begin to hear a strange ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's quote, altar room. Oh, a room no. that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant to honor the dead. They go to investigate and things take a terrifying turn. No, no. No, no. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that. Yes, he did. 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 God, I saw his other hand. I thought it was another hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even explain. But when his other hand came, I thought it was somebody else's hand. Oh god. Woo. That got me. He closed that. I ask again. Did you see it? Was it the right hand? Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be seen once again. Oh my but god. this time, much closer. What makes the footage even creepier is that only moments earlier in the same spot there was nothing there. Oh. Whatever is in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. Ew. And then when they turn their back, the sliding door seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in Why? the hopes of capturing any paranormal activity. Why? He sets up a static camera Stupid. and then just sits in the dark and waits. Stupid. After 30 minutes, nothing has happened. So, Hiro gets a bit bored and decides to go check out another room. And this is when things get truly bizarre. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Why so dark? I 
hate this so much. Yeah, stop focusing. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh god! God, I hate it, I hate it so much. Here's a sliding door move on its own, and he discovers that oh the door to God. the altar room has once again mysteriously opened on its own. The investigator hears the bizarre ringing sound again, and when he turns around, he sees that the creepy so face scary. of something staring back at him through the sliding door. Gross. Hiro gathers his courage and approaches <laughs> the door. He opens it, and the face disappears into thin air. I hate it. There's no one there. So did Hiro and Tomo capture paranormal evidence yes. of a haunted home? Yes. Yes. Could it be the restless spirits of the family who mysteriously disappear? Or it, or it's the thing that made the family disappear, like some kind of demon. It's always a demon with me. Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film. No thanks. It stares back. In a tiny town on the outskirts of Wagoner oh County, Oklahoma, Reddit user LividExcuse1640 and a friend are cruising down a deserted road in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. They approach a long abandoned house that Reddit user LividExcuse1640 says has always seemed a bit creepy and has been sitting deserted for many years for unknown reasons. On a whim, he takes out a battery-operated spotlight and decides to shine it right into the windows of the abandoned house. It. The guys spot something downright chilling. Shut up. There it is. Go, 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 go. What On was camera, that? the friends catch a pale, creepy face Ew. that seems to appear from nowhere, peeking back at them from the darkness Gross. inside the house. Even when hit by the bright <laughs> spotlight, the white <laughs> face appears to have no recognizable features. Oh when God. they realize what they are looking at, the guys hit the gas and speed away from the abandoned house. Reddit user LividExcuse1640 says that he's visited the house before and it appears that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. Yeah. So think? what do you think this is? Uh, is it something scary. paranormal? Is it just a strange trick of the light? 
Or is there no, something God, in there? No, God, scary looking. Let me know down below. Scary people, places, and things. Great. Now this next video was sent in to me privately by a Nukes Top 5 viewer, but the source is unknown. All I know about the video is that a couple is out hiking through the Romanian woods when they spot something terrifying in the distance. One of the hikers pulls out a phone and starts to record. Eu? Como está? Oh my god! Tu vês de What is that? In the video, the two anonymous Romanian hikers wonder aloud whether, quote, they released it. I can only assume that they're referring to the strange pale figure in the video that looks like something right out of a nightmare. Yeah. But I'm honestly not sure just what this is. It's scary. Could it be something paranormal, a creature, or just a very bizarre looking person clad all in white? I leave it up to you to decide. Oh God. One bizarre day in Voronezh, Russia, a grandfather and his grandchild are enjoying a day out walking in the fresh air. They decide to stroll down one particular city sidewalk, and it turns out to be one of the worst decisions of their lives. Oh, no. Now, in accordance with the YouTube guidelines, let me point out beforehand that absolutely no one was hurt in this video, but Grand it was very close. Oh, no. God. If they would have stayed there five more seconds, that kid would be dead. Oh my God. The grandfather and his grandson wow. escape an incredibly tragic fate by only a split second oh as a large God. chunk of concrete comes hurtling down from a building above. Wow. The two are unharmed and so is the woman passing by. But what really makes this footage so terrifying is the fact that this was an intentional act. What? Turns out, a group of inebriated Russian teenagers found their way onto the roof of a tall apartment building. They then deliberately threw this large block of concrete off the roof with the intention to hurt someone terribly. Later in the footage, these same teens can be seen admiring the shattered pieces of concrete. Wow. Despite the video Disgusting. evidence, these teenagers were never caught. This wow. footage just goes to show that sometimes people are much, much scarier than anything paranormal. Frank from the YouTube channel Franco oh, TV no. goes on a very creepy exploration through an abandoned grand hotel in Montgomery, Alabama. Frank plans to perform a ghost hunt, Great. but little does he know that the large building he is about to explore is now home to something much scarier than ghosts and apparitions. It turns out that a group of aggressive and dangerous homeless squatters Great. have taken over the abandoned building. As Frank starts his ghost hunt, things soon take a very frightening turn. Oh no. I gotta be careful. People are scary. We just heard somebody. Ah! Holy crap. That's a homeless guy. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm so scared for him. For a second. Go, 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 go. Wherever Frank goes, he keeps running into potentially dangerous oh squatters 
and just barely avoids confrontation. Oh, no. Even though he's somewhat aware of the danger, Frank still continues to explore. But he has no idea just how close the angry squatters are watching him. Oh, no. I'm literally looking for other locations here that I haven't recorded just yet. But because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do. Because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mobbed, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings ah! in one. Oh my god! How did I not see that? Already getting sounds of people. Frank is distracted by unexplained sounds and is talking to his camera when he passes one of the hotel room windows. To his viewer's horror, a hooded man can be seen standing right Gross. at the window, just staring at Frank as he goes by. Gross. At the time, Frank is completely unaware of the danger he's in, so he just keeps on filming and exploring, with no idea of what he just encountered right next to him. Now obviously this is not one of Franco TV's usual paranormal videos. In fact, if anything, it might be even scarier. Right. Reaching out from beyond. Right. Popular Chinese ghost no. hunter Xiao Long is exploring an allegedly haunted location in a small village on the outskirts of Xinyang, China. This time Xiao Long is investigating a sprawling farm where a large extended family used to live. Right. Locals claim that years ago they would often hear screaming and shouting coming from the farm. They say that the head of the family, an elderly man, had a very bad temper and was often cruel to his family. Aww. One by one, his children and grandchildren moved away from him to the big city. His family never returned. Aww. Individually, the old man passed away all alone inside his farmhouse. Xiaolong is recording a live stream as he explores the farm grounds all alone. At first, he finds strange talismans on and above many of the farmhouse doors suggesting that someone has been there to try to ward off evil spirits might haunt the property. I like that whole way. Yeah, that's scary. Huh? Oh. Oh. Stop it. This is why they attack you. This is exactly why they attack you. I操你妈,这是个福啊 Huh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, you pissed it off. What's on you, Ma? A large wooden board suddenly drops from the ceiling and barely misses Xiao Long. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence caused by a loose board in a very decaying house. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. Great. Awesome. Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 God. Two windows fly open and the exit door slams shut. A little freaked out now, Xiaolong runs outside to calm himself down. Yeah. Eventually, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. He soon finds a room cluttered with old furniture, personal belongings, and boards from the caved in ceiling. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh no, Nuke. Good thing you're alive. No, 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 
I don't want to see anything up there. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see anything in the mirror either. Ah! Oh my god. Did I see something? Did I see something? I don't know what I'm seeing. Oh my god, you're going to be in the mirror. It's going to be in the mirror. Or in the ceiling. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, what was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know what that is. That was human. That was not human. That was not human. Wow. I don't like that. Oh. oh my god. Ew. Ew. It was like morphing. Ew. I don't like it. 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 Oh. 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 Oh
frick. I hate this so much. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. God. Those are hands. Those are hands. <laughs> Coming out of the earth. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of there. A pair of hands seem to reach right up out of the ground. Ew. Searching for something. Ew! The horrifying event is caught on live stream by Xiao Long and his online viewers watch in terror. He finally makes a run for it and just gets out of there. So is the abandoned creepy farm haunted by the malicious spirit yes. of the old man who was left yes, behind absolutely. by his family? Let me know absolutely. what you think. Absolutely. Disappearing act. <sighs> Paranormal investigator Alberto from the YouTube Please channel know. Alberto Del Arco travels to a long abandoned warehouse in Mexico. Locals claim to have no explanation or idea of what this location was used for, or why it's abandoned. Great. Many suspect that the structure was used for horrific illegal activities, Great. such as hiding or disposing of the remains of the deceased. Some believe that this dark activity might have left the warehouse extremely haunted, and most people prefer to stay far away from the creepy site. Those who have dared to explore the creepy location claim to have witnessed shadows, heard ear-piercing screams, and some even say that they have fled from the sound of footsteps that no. seem to be following them, Ew. getting closer no, I hate that. and closer. Stop, 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 I hate it. Together with his two cameramen, Alberto Del Arco goes to investigate the alleged taunting. It doesn't take long before the guys begin to hear strange sounds and witness some very frightening activity. Great. <laughs> Hay mucha tierra. Entonces, esto ha ayudado para que también muchas personas. Hijo de. Oh, God. What the heck? ¿Qué fue, güey? Vino de allá arriba, ¿no? Ahí hay varios. Ay, güey, me dolió todo. Me asusté. Pudiera haber gente, ¿eh? De pronto pudiera haber personas que se meten. Al parecer ya se han robado partes de este sitio se ve algunas zonas quemadas a heavy gas can slams to the ground as if thrown from somewhere nearby but that's not the only creepy thing that happens in this clip Great. did you see it no i didn't right above alberto's head <gasps> a dark shape can be seen oh quickly my god peeking out. i didn't see that but when they go to check inside the room there's no one there Alberto and his team are completely unaware of what they've just oh captured. They continue their investigation of this strange warehouse, but as they explore inside, the cameraman captures something absolutely shocking. Uh. Esto me imagino que eran una especie de tinas o contenedores, ¿sabes? Y mira, ahí hay unos ductos. Pero ¿qué tenían aquí? ¿De qué era esta fábrica? Lo curioso es que ya preguntamos con los vecinos y nadie sabe exactamente qué es lo que había. En este lugar, la temperatura sigue bajando, 22.2 de 22.9. Sí, baja muy rápido, baja muy drástico. Atrás de ti. What? ¿Qué fue? What? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Atrás de ti. ¿Qué fue? Ew. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Hola. ¿Lo tienes con tu cámara? I don't know that. Do you have it with your camera? Hola. I don't know that. But... This is very high, right? That was brincarle. creepy. Fast. Weird. I see something high. There are escaleras, look. Be careful, Tony. Be careful not to fall down. As the camera God. turns down a hallway, what looks Ew. like a pale, creepy figure can be seen Gross. quickly darting out of sight. When the team hurries over to investigate, they discover just how high the area is above the yeah, ground. 
for something to have been peeking around that corner, yeah. it would have had to be at least seven or eight feet tall. Ew, no. A little later into the investigation and the three friends witnessed something else that is truly bizarre. Oh, God. No understand. A ver, hay alguien ahí parado, ¿no? Allá, 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 allá. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? Stop allá, it. allá soy algo. Stop ver, it. Allá. Stop it. Te sigue, te sigue, te sigue. Con cuidado, con cuidado, con cuidado. Hay alguien allá. Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. They're like walking weird. Okay, They're walking yo no sé weird. Ni para dónde ir. Tú ve, tú ve para allá, Tony. Yo creo. They're Ten cuidado, weird. Memo. Weird. ¿Ves algo, Tony? Se salió. Güey, yo vi a alguien parado. Güey, vi a alguien parado ahí. He was walking weird. Sí. Hay algo cerca. Alberto and his team watch as someone seems to walk away from them. At first, they believe this is simply a stranger who is also exploring the factory. But when they reach the area where they saw the dark figure of a man, again. There's just no one there. Cut to a bit later, and one of Alberto's cameramen claims that he sees something move in the brush. Oh God. No entiendo, pero pareciera que hay algo aquí. Digo, tal vez es que no sabemos qué fue esto, pero pudiera haber algún tipo de qué güey, qué 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 qué. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde? Aquí. Pues a ver, alumbra un poquito para allá. No want to. Stop! What the heck? ¿Viste algo? Cuidado, puede, puede haber muchos animales. Things just get more and more absurdly bizarre as a hand seems to reach out from the darkness and grab what appears to be either a cloth or an old paper. So. Did the team capture evidence of paranormal activity at the they mysterious warehouse? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that double feature of Freaky Friday. Um, sorry I didn't upload last Friday, but I hope this makes up for it. Um, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe. 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed. It does help me a lot, so if you would consider it, I would really appreciate it. Also make sure to click that little bell so you're notified every time I post, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also guys, like I said, I do have a new YouTube membership, so if you are interested in that, I will have a link in the description below as well. And if you have any suggestions of reactions or challenges you would like me to do on this channel, let me know in the comments below. Also, you can be shouted out in my next video. And as always, I love you guys very much. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. Whoa, that was something. Oh, God.